All right, hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin. And you know what? Today's a new video. We're gonna talk about some new things we got going on here. Uh, one is uh, what's going on in the studio, and two is gonna be our PA. Uh, so just kind of a little bit of an update of what's going on here. And we haven't done one, I think, since January. I think, I can't remember if it was January or February. Anyways, we haven't done one in about six months. So I kind of call this the six month update. So console's gone, that's update number one. And the story behind that is, we were basically trying to figure out what to do um, with some of the frequencies we had in here. And we have a list of things that we've been fixing and working on, and that list gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller every day. Um, but the console we found was giving us a bump in resonance at 140 to 160 hertz. It was kind of kind of large, I thought. And I couldn't figure out how to get really get rid of it. And we're like, well, hey, let's experiment. Let's unplug the desk, un you know, unplug all the inputs, it's fine. Take the console, we put it in a different part of the room and remeasured and found out, hey, that cleared it up. We're like, okay, great. Now what, what do we do? What do we do? So we sold it. <laughs> we sold the console. Um, it was fine, you know, cuts down on heating and, and electric bills quite a bit. Um, so anyways, we sold the console, but you're probably wondering how are we getting all of the rack gear? Because we didn't sell any of our rack gear, it's still all there. Um, so basically comes to find out we took the rack gear and plugged it into the patch bay. And then we took all the inserts in our clarets, which is basically going to work as our console for right now. Um, are part of it. It's going to take the insert points from them because they have inserts on every channel, which is awesome. That's what I love about the Claret Octopreze. They have inserts on everything. So we took those inserts and we patched them into the patch bay. So we have that along with some outputs and inputs uh, from the line ins on our Apollos uh, to kind of help us get all of our gear in and out and our mixed chain all set up and everything. So that's kind of what's happening there. We have a cloud that's above the desk. It's at, I don't know, a little bit of an angle to kind of help with that resonance, and that's helping us out. We still have the PMCs. They're on our Gator uh, framework stands that clamp to the desk. We had to modify the racks a little bit to get them uh, to fit on the racks. Uh, we could put them on the desk, but we found that was that kind of was messing with our stereo field a little bit. But they're on ISO pucks from ISO acoustics. Um, we got a lot of this from Sweetwater. So that's kind of, if you want to find out where we got a lot of this stuff, check out Sweetwater's website. That's where we got most of this. Um, I'm not an affiliate, not sponsored, so no links. Sorry, guys. Um, so when we sold the console, we took some of that money and we put it into our PA. We bought a bigger sub. We bought, we had a 15 that we were kind of testing out and we found out that that testing on that 15 just wasn't what we needed to do um, sound wise. So we found an 18 uh, passive sub and an amplifier. So that kind of helped with that purchase and um, that's kind of the update on that. Um, which segues us into the PA. We now have a PA that will do really comfortably about 500 people max. You know, if you have a crowd of about 500, it'll do that perfectly. So um, little small festivals and stuff like that, we can help you out. Um, or if you're a band that is looking, you know, hey, we got a gig and we need a PA and it's, you know, in this little club, you know, we can help you out. Um, you can rent it from us or we can come set it up. We can run it for you really doesn't matter we we're pretty flexible on on how that works um it's a set of rcfs with um i can't remember the name of the sub right now but our rcfs will do they're 2000 watts a channel we've got right now two tops we're looking at getting some more um something that's maybe a little bit bigger in a line array type fashion but right now that's what we can do with tops um and you know that's kind of where we're at uh, just a quick little update today um, we also want to say thank you to everybody who has hit the like subscribe and the bell notifications um, we greatly appreciate it we could really use more of it because we are getting really close to hitting the uh, 500 mark uh, YouTube's changed that algorithm to be 500 to be monetized. So we're re getting really close. To that. I think we're like 207 or something like that, 210. I can't remember the exact subscriber count. But if you know people who would enjoy this channel or, you know, 
just hit us up, you know. We got stuff going on <laughs> on the channel that we think people would like. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, and you know what? Enjoy the weather, and we'll see you next time.